Well, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you're here and I would love for you to stay for a little while because today I have these adorable DIY topiaries that I created. They're so beautiful and they're both for less than $2. They were only $1.50. So I am over the moon happy with these. They turned out so adorable. Also, I love the fact that they can transition from season to season. You can use them to style in so many different ways. And you can even embellish them for the holidays. So I'm absolutely in love with these. Now what I'm going to do is start from beginning to end and show you how I created these for only $1.50, so stay tuned. First, you're gonna need your supplies, which is a glue gun and glue sticks, a ribbon of your choice, which is optional, paint brushes or sponges, whatever you like. And these I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They're mini pottery pots, and these floral pots are two in a pack, so they're only 50 cents. Also some Mod Podge and some chalk paint of your choosing. I'm using Waverly that I keep on hand from Walmart, but I do Annie Sloan's from time to time. Last, you're gonna need some reindeer moss. Now this you can get in sheets, but when I got to the Dollar Tree, they didn't have any, so I had to use the regular, you know, moss. These cones that you can make from any paper in your home, I did pick up some of these from Michaels for only 77 cents, but I also have some cardstock because I wanted to use a different kind for different sizes. Now I do keep this at home. If you don't have any, you can um, basically make cones with whatever you have on hand, but if you want to pick some up, you can get them from the Dollar Tree also for a dollar. All you're going to do is paint your um, mini pots and these floral pottery pots they um, have in different packs. Sometimes you can get like three or four in the plastic packs. I wanted these for just that, that stone feel to them because I'm going for a specific look. So I got these. These are two in a pack but you can use any ones that you would like. Also the cones, I actually took this one I got from Michaels for only 77 cents and I cut it and then I taped it back. Don't worry, you won't see the tape under the floral. Now what you're going to do, by the way, this is going to make a mess you guys, <laughs> a real big mess, but you're just going to add a little bit of hot glue at a time and then you're going to add the moss on and it's that simple. Just spread it out and make it even. You can do it as thick as you like or as thin as you like. Either way, it's up to you because it's the look that you're going for. I wanted mine to have nice little texture to it, so I basically did mine. So it'll be a little on the thick side, but not too thick. And wherever you see little areas where you might see a little bit of cardboard or cardstock sticking through, you can just go back over it with a little bit of hot glue and just fill it in with some more of the moss. But once again, it is going to make a mess. <laughs> I did basically the same thing with the black cone that I made once they're all done, as you can see. And no, it didn't take long at all. It did have a weirdly weird smell, however. I'm just going to clip off the little pieces that are sticking out. I wanted mine to look a little bit more rustic, so I'm not going to trim it down to be too precise or too neat, but it's up to you how you want it to look. I just wanted mine to have a lot of texture. That's what I was going for. Now that my pots are completely dry, I'm going to take these printable labels that you can print off of Pinterest. They're free actually, so don't forget that you can always go on Pinterest and get free labels. Now these I wanted to go for, once again, that farmhouse look but I wanted to have more of a French feel to it so more like a French provincial type of farmhouse so first I'm going to add the glue and or Mod Podge and once it's fully covered you're just going to put the label on top of it make sure that you have enough glue for the label to stick to it and then once you have it centered and where you want it to go you're just going to go over it with some more Mod Podge However, you don't even have to use a label. That's all optional. It's just the look I'm going for. This year, I have different DIYs that I'm doing from the Dollar Tree, but I'm using the same color. So that way, you know, it'll be all the same look as far as the core, which is black and white. So if you want to see those videos, you can definitely check those out. I'll put those in the description bar below. And it's part one, part two, and this is part three in the Dollar Tree DIYs using Dollar Tree items. So once I have it fully covered, I'm just going to go ahead and let those dry, but I just really, really love the look.
Now that they're completely dried down, I'm going to take some of this gingham, it's a black and white gingham ribbon that I've been using for my DIYs and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. All you need is a little dab of hot glue on one end. Press it down and then take the ribbon and just wrap it. You don't need to apply any more. Just make sure that it's <laughs> it sticks like mine's did not. <laughs> Just, and with this, all you have to do is make sure that it's centered and neatly even across and then just add a little bit more. And I did make some ribbons. And once again, this is the color that I'm going with black and white. I used the same ribbon on my other DIYs. So I did want to have the same look. So that's why I'm definitely using this, this gingham print of black and white. But I absolutely love it. It looks really crisp and clean. And it's so easy to transition it from different ideas, different vignettes that you want to create in your home. Because I'm definitely going to be using these all year long. Once again, I'm going to be doing the same thing, but I'm making sure that I have it centered right above the middle of the actual label. And there are so many free printable labels. Aren't these adorable? I absolutely love the way these look. They are so cute. So now you're going to just take your greenery for, um, that you made earlier and you're actually going to go ahead and apply the hot glue. I already pre-measured them and cut them and made sure that they fit to go in the pottery just perfect. So just gonna press it down and wait for it to dry. And it's really that easy and that simple. So it's really a lot of bang for your buck. Once it's completely dry, I'm going to go back and trim it a little bit, but I absolutely love the way these look, you guys. I am so in love with these, really gigging on them, and it's just so cute. So I'm going to trim the edges, and I'm going to basically do the same thing with the other cone. This is the larger one. I did make sure that the bottom would fit into the floral pottery, the little planter. But I did use the cardstock for this one, so I do have to go back and just put a little bit of the hot glue on the actual pottery planter and then put that on top. Make sure that it's straight and even because I had to adjust the other one a little bit. And then you're just going to go back and trim it out on the edges where you have joined it together to just make it neat and clean and precise. And I absolutely love these. You cannot beat making these for $1.50. Oh my goodness. You would never ever be able to convince anybody that you only paid $1.50 for these two beautiful topiaries. And I really like the way they look. I love the texture of them. And they're so transitional. You can use these from season to season. You can use them for our different holidays different areas and I moved them from that area over to my island because that's how much I love them I actually I, I basically set it up with two really oversized large shabby chic farmhouse type of candle holders that are absolutely gorgeous with some large luminaires and it looks perfect there's so many different ways that you can style these and like I said I just love the texture of them and the juxtaposition that they have with those large candle holders all chunky and they're just so cute. I also styled it again with um, an aromatherapy candle and that's just wonderful also just to relax in the evening light that with a cup of tea. It's so beautiful. So I hope you guys like this um, DIY. Once again, it's the third in a series of, of other DIYs that I did from the Dollar Tree. I'll put them in the description bar so you can check those out. But in the meantime, I would love for you guys to, to come back, maybe even try this for yourself. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and become a part of my family. And also, be blessed.